welcome everybody to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, make a mini map. Let's get started. First you gotta create a script origin. By doing that you right click on the 2D grid, go to script, go to origin. Pops it up right there, hit N to bring up the entity editor. What you want to do is key value target name for the value you want to put mini map underscore corner. Make sure you spell that right or it will not work. Hit enter. Where you want to place the script origin is somewhere in the corner of your maps. You only need two of them. So also put it outside the playable area of the map. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to hit control C, control V, duplicates it bring it all the way down to the opposite corner. The way this works is it will create a border from the top one, a straight line down to this origin and then this line comes across this way creating yourself a box or a rectangle. After you do that you can exit out for save and go to compile and compile your maps. I'm going to stop the video because you don't need to, me to waste your time. Before you compile, make sure your skybox is tall enough to capture your mini map. Because you have a, if you have a small skybox around here, around a thousand units, you won't be able to capture your whole playable area when we do a top-down view in game. So make sure your skybox is tall enough. Mine's around 7,000, right around there. Alright, my map has finished compiling. Now we're going to run the game and take a screenshot for my mini map. To do that, make sure these three are checked because the command codes we use in the command console need these to be checked. The custom ca uh, command line, it does matter if that's checked or not. So let's go in and run the map. Let's do this, Marines! Now, once you're in game, you can open up the command console by hitting the tilde key, the button next to the 1. Hit backslash, execute minimap. I'll take away the image on your screen. And now we gotta do the top down view, which is backslash set scr minimap height. Let's start with 5000. As you can see, the white box, everything in the white box is your minimap. And the closer you are to this white box, the better minimap you will have. So let's get a little closer. Let's go set SCR. Let's do right, that's about good. There's three ways you can uh, take the screenshot for your minimap. You can hit print screen on your keyboard. I like to use Xfire so the shortcut is scroll lock X or you can take a screenshot with the game which is the tilde key backslash screenshot and it'll be the first one screenshot jpeg but if you do that it'll actually take a screenshot with the command console set up so what you want to do is uh, go into your uh, console config file in your players folder and set a bind well, like I said, easiest way, print screen or screenshot with uh, Xfire. Alright, now we have our screenshot. We have to grab that screenshot and create it into a DDS file or a target file. Since I used Xfire, the folder I want is computers, program C, programs data folder. Scroll down to Xfire go into screenshots cut paste control X control V just rename it real quick alright from there we can open up Photoshop Oops, let me grab the image first. Drag and drop into 
Photoshop. And now you want to get inside this white border. In Photoshop, hit Control I. We'll zoom in to 100%. Go up to, con to this corner. Now to zoom in even more, hit Control Alt and then move up on the mouse. We'll zoom in like that. I'm going to grab my marquee tool, grab with inside that white border, that pixel right there. Scroll all the way down to the other opposite corner. Right there. Control X. I already have a compass map uh, file for my mini map created. So from here, I'll Control V. But since this is the first time you're doing it, go to File, New. The dimensions of this file need to be 512 by 512 pixels. I always set my resolution at 300, get a good uh, resolution for it. And that's all you need. So once that file is created, you can grab your image, cut it out, go to the file, paste it. Now to shrink the image, to the size, I hit Control T, which brings up my transform editor. I zoom out by hitting Control Alt and mouse, uh, scrolling the mouse uh, button down. Go to the corner. I hit Shift, which will uniformly scale it down. Get as good as possible. Since it's really not going to fit that well, you can just move it up there. It will click in, just like that, and click in just like that. Hit enter to exit out the transform editor. Alright, so I've now customized the minimap the way I want it. Now we got to save it out and import it into Radiant Tool. Do that, go to File, Save As. Save it out as a DDS file or a target file this is the first time you're doing it and you're using Photoshop, Photoshop doesn't have DDS uh, files save out as, you have to download uh, the DDS plugin for Photoshop which is free. Go here, the main important thing is to have compass underscore map before your map name so my net map name is FNRP Dark Forest save we don't have an alpha channel so that doesn't matter save now we can close out Photoshop to wherever you uh, saved your file to the desktop or whatever I always save it in a folder there it is now we gotta take that open up your COD4 main directory go to texture assets if this is the first time you're doing this and you never made a custom texture or never made a mini map before this folder won't exist you'll have to create it in your uh, COD4 directory so just name it texture assets it could be named whatever you want because in this folder all your custom textures load screens and mini maps will be placed in there so grab my mini map control C control V I'll paste it. Now let's open up the asset manager. Once again, this is the first time you're doing it. You'll have to create this file. The file you need to create goes in your source data folder and you have to name it compass.gdt. GDT stands for game data. To do that, go here go to material click that go to file save as and save it as this since I already have that file created I'm just going to open it this compass file is where uh, you import uh, mini maps and you can do load screens too so to create the mini map go to new this entry needs to be the exact same name as your file name. So since I believe I already closed that out, go here, go to texture assets, go to your minimap, rename, control C, 
go to entry, control V. This is the easiest way I do it so I don't misspell it. Click OK. Now you got this. This right here is for creating custom textures. We don't need that. We want a 2D material type because we need to have it set up for a mini map. All right. The options, make sure that's 2D. Default is fine. Um, that's fine. Surface type, set that to none. From there, um, replace is good, back is good, none, auto, everything is good. Go down to your color map, it will be blank, click the three dots. From here, you gotta go to where your DDS file or target file is. So in C84 main directory, go down to that text or assets folder or whatever you named it and find your compass underscore map. Here's mine. Open it. From here, go to PC convert or you can click uh, F10. And as you see it converted OK. If you get the blue, light blue uh, coating, everything works. If you get yellow or red, something went wrong and you have to do it again. Conversion's done. Hit any key. All right, now we got to update the zone file. We have to edit the GSC file and grab the IWI file. So to do that, we can close that out. From here, go to your CRD4 main directory. We're going to edit the GSC file first. So to do that, the easiest way is to create a GSC file. Go to call D4 directory. Go to raw, go to maps folder, MP folder, and grab any uh, basic uh, stock map file. So I can just use cargo ship, copy, paste, and now you need to uh, use a program like PSPAD, Notepad++, it doesn't matter, I use PSPAD. Grab the cargo GSC file, open that up. This is the uh, information that you need. Since I already have one created, let me grab that. Also, your GSC file needs to be uh, named uh, your map file. So, in my GSC file, all this information is uh, effects. I have a lot of weather and fog in my map. Come down here. All right. The reason this is commented out because uh, to test my map, I don't create a compass map first. I build the map first, and uh, if this code is uh, activated, you'll get an error. So that's why I put these uh, backslashes in to comment it out. So let me just delete that. Come here. Like I said, if you use cargo ship, just rename uh, this area right here to your uh, mini map image file name. Mine is called compass underscore map, my map name, and that's good. We can file, save as, and close that out now. All right, now take your GSC file, go to your directory folder, in the exact same spot where uh, you got the previous stock one, that's where you want to put this one, this GSC file. So go to your COD4 directory. Go to raw, go to maps, MP, click on uh, your GSC file, copy and paste it. And there we go. Now it's in your MP folder. We can close that out. Go to your compile tool, go to level compiling, click on your map, go to update zone. Here you will have to type material comma and your file name so my file name was compass map mp fnrp dark forest update that zone rebuild your fast file all right from there, now we need to grab the IWI file. To do that, go to 
call the for directory go to raw images and find your compass map name IWI file mine's dark forest I like to put these all in folders so let me go to my folder real quick All right, my IWI. From here, Control C, copy and paste it to your desktop or wherever. There you go. All right, so since this is the first time you ever made a minimap, or if you never made a custom textures, you won't have this file. So basically, go to your user maps, and if you've never downloaded any custom maps or anything like that I'll add a link to my IWD file but you'll need to go to user maps go to any pretty much any custom map for example here as long as it has an IWD file you can use that go there once again you need to create this folder you need to name it your map name because in here we'll go the three files the IWD the load ff and .ff these files right here so let me drag and drop that because if you grab it from any map this is what you'll have to do open up Packscape, Packscape's free offline very useful uh, tool drag the file in there in your IWD file is a folder called images in here will be all the images from that custom map the person made. All you gotta do is select everything and delete and just go file save. From there you can right click rename copy and rename to your map name since I already did that I'll just delete alright once you have the IWD file once again open up pack drag and drop in your images folder I already had that compass file in there I already tested to make sure everything works so go to your wherever you put your IWI file your compass uh, map IWI drag and drop into Packscape your IWD in your image folder file save alright from there you're going to have to grab your updated uh, fast file so go to your COD4 directory zone English find your map name grab the .ff and load ff copy paste good from here go to your directory again go to user maps grab this folder with all three files in it control c copy and paste just like that All right since that's done now we can test it run the game click on mod go to mod warfare from here hit the tilde key right next to uh, the one backslash map mp fnrp pretty much your map name let this load and you'll have a mini map boom and there's your mini map thank you for watching this tutorial hopefully it was useful Stay